the chairs that you'll see in there, all the visuals that you'll see in there are the same kind of facilities that students are going to be using once they get into the job. So it's, it's a very realistic environment, including where we can change weather conditions, we can change well conditions, we can do all kinds of things to put students uh, in scenarios where they're going to have to think on their feet and respond. Is that a bad sound? Yeah, that's my pumps blowing up. I'm Michael Pishko, Dean of Engineering and Applied Science here at the University of Wyoming. Well, the, the EERB, the new engineering building, came to fruition uh, through the vision of the legislature and the governor's task force in uh, energy and engineering. Uh, and really, what it was designed to do was provide us with essentially game-changing space for uh, um, engineering, education, and research in Wyoming. So it's not repeating what we already have, it's essentially doing new and innovative things. So for example, shared multidisciplinary laboratories, active learning spaces to teach students in new and innovative ways, um, which includes our drilling simulation facility. So everything is uh, essentially designed to promote student innovation, student creation, and really get students excited uh, about being engineers and computer scientists. The company that provides these state-of-the-art simulation is Drilling Systems. They're based in UK, but they have office here in Houston, and uh, we've been using their products since the 5000, and we get the upgrade also from them. I don't think there's any other school that has this set up. They might have like one or two simulators, but they don't have this full like immersive situation going on. With the new technology that we have now in the drilling rigs, land and offshore, we're moving more towards the cyber chairs. So at the University of Wyoming, we have one of kind dual cyber chair, drill sim 6000. It can simulate land rigs, it can simulate jack up offshore rigs, and as well as deep water drill ships economy of Wyoming is mainly dependent on oil and natural gas. So it's important to be in the middle of the Powder River Basin, Bighorn Basin, DJ Basin, and know about how to drill these, how to produce it, so we get our students ready to go and work in these fields as soon as they graduate. We have well completion, we have drilling, well intervention, well control, we have virtual reality. So the level of integration that I see in this lab is very inspiring to our students to see how can they work with mechanical engineers, with electrical engineers to get the job done. We have a virtual reality tour that walks them around the rig and they can see, they can go at the fingerboard, they can look at the rig from the top or you can walk around the rig and see all the main components of the rig. I would say that the 6000 is very beneficial to short engineering students as well as other engineering disciplines because when you think about a drill ship like this, we have mechanical engineers, we have electrical engineers, we have computer scientists, we have drilling engineers, everyone is working together. So this can be a very good tool to train all the other disciplines about the functionality of this drill ship. It's an advanced course, so students have to know first how to use the basic drilling rig before they, they move into the, the drill chip and the uh, advanced drilling rig. A driller working the rig for the first time going, I don't have no clue what he's doing. They can actually be like, oh, he, right now he's controlling the top drive and they're making a connection, so he's going to do this, this, and this. So it'll give him an advantage of knowing the steps instead of just playing the guessing game and trying to figure things out and having to ask 100 questions about like, what's that button do? I have like about 10 years in the oil field, maybe a little bit longer. Um, it's pretty, pretty realistic. The 6,000, the chairs are like exactly what's on an offshore. So it's pretty realistic. And same with the 5,000 actually, the controls are what I've seen on actual rigs. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, the fall semester coming around, uh, and that's when all the students will start coming back and coming back in, and I look forward to them starting to, uh, to use this space. We're in, we're in a pro uh, process now of moving in, uh, as you can see, and uh, as with any new building, it's a very complex system, and so we're working out all the bugs, uh, and so that when students come into fall, everything will be ready to go, uh, and it'll be very, very exciting uh, for them when they get here.
Wyoming is oil and gas, so it is a perfect spot. Well, students that have families big in the oil and gas industry come to the petroleum program, so this is going to be increasingly helpful and help with like research. It's got a lot of possibilities for Wyoming. You could do well control certifications here, which aren't offered too widely, I don't think. In my mind, I see way too many possibilities for the room. Yeah. <laughs>